A few years ago, if you got a PC, you would install Windows without hesitation. But these days, there is a fear. As you know, Windows is collecting information from you personally and from your device due to something called telemetry. Microsoft claims it's diagnostic and just for developing the system. Imagine if word crashes. It sends a log file to Microsoft. But now, telemetry is getting even more nasty. Now telemetry knows what the application you are using, how much time you spend on each application, how the application behaves, how you behave with the application, even your clicks within the application are recorded, your Mac address, meaning your device ID, Bing search history if you are using it, even when you leave the PC to go to the bathroom, I think Microsoft collects that too, I think they even have an estimate time about how much time you need to take a shit, unwanted feature, Microsoft keeps adding features that nobody asked for, not me, not you, nobody did, feature, no one will use it. Take a recall for example, a feature that's scrapped after heavy backlash. It's recorded everything on your screen. Even if you logged into a website and entered personal information like payment information, recall would track it too and store it all. And that's just one example among money. Ads everywhere. To Microsoft, you are just way to create money. Windows 11 has become an operating system that feels like a TV with ads. Imagine searching for your files, going to task bar typing the file name only windows respond you don't want a your file here is an ad instead they should not call it a taskbar they should call it an ad menu have you noticed how big windows is these days they installed so many useless worthless meaningless and ridiculous ads, and they force you to use them and the updates update windows ask me yesterday to update windows i ignored it because i was ordering cheat codes Windows has become a closed system. Literally, when I'm writing the script of this video, this screen shows up from nowhere. It says protect your file and memories, back up your PC. You have no choice but to wait a long time. Then again, you have no choice but to accept the risk and click start. You cannot escape the screen. But of course, I found the solution, which is to shut down the computer via the power button. I don't trust Microsoft at all. Also, you don't control updates. You cannot uninstall some built-in app like Edge or Bing, the PC you paid let's say a huge amount of dollars for is no longer fully yours. Are there a workarounds? Yes, there are a third party tools to bypass this restriction, but they often cause more problems than they solve, especially since most Windows users aren't technically. Why are people switching to Linux? Main reason, Steam. The story starts in 2012. We all remember that piece of garbage called Windows 8 with its own Microsoft Store making the OS like a mobile system. Microsoft wanted to lock down Windows like iOS, meaning Steam would have to sell games through Microsoft Store, giving Microsoft a cut of profits. Valve responds, Steam parent company, Valve decided to break free from Windows and started developing its own Linux based OS. Steam OS, Proton, the real revolution. In 2018, Valve released Proton, a compatible layer that lets Windows games run on Linux without modification. Over time, Proton even added support for DirectX 12, which was once Windows exclusive. Steam Deck changing the game. In 2021, Valve launched the Steam Deck, a handled gaming PC running SteamOS Linux. It solves millions of units, proving that Linux can handle a gaming smoothly. Why should you care? Linux is now a real alternative. No ads, no tracking, full control over your system, gaming support thanks to Proton. But why Linux was not popular in the first place? Sadly, Linux was not popular due to the companies. Most of the companies pre-install Windows OS in the laptop even when Linux is better. Even PewDiePie, a YouTuber with 110 million subscribers, installed Linux on his PC, sparking massive interest. You may think it's just a video, but the tech community supported this so much, which has now become a kind of trend. Three of my friends switched completely to Linux. Should you switch to Linux? Well, 
well it depends it depends on what kind of application you are using if you use adobe creative cloud or something not supported in linux obviously you cannot switch fully until the full support comes but if you are working on your device as a developer linux would be the better choice of course Personally, I recommend Linux, Ubuntu as secondary operating system. Then when you feel ready, you can do the full switch. And there are a lot of websites which tell if the application you are using on Windows exists on Linux or if there is an alternative for them. I will put some links in the description. This shift isn't temporary. It is the start of the tech revolution. Linux is growing fast and developers are supporting it more than ever. If you hate Windows, support this channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.